The United States Constitution was written to form a more perfect union that would enable checks and balances to prevent a bloody revolution from being a necessary measure to abolish tyranny. Excellent though it was, Colonel George Mason feared the national government might one day end in a tyrannical aristocracy. The rights of the people needed to be secured against potential corruption at the national level. One of the solutions the framers decided upon can be found in Article 5, which gives state legislators the authority to call a convention that bypasses federal legislators to amend the Constitution. That gives we the people the opportunity to make some long overdue structural adjustments. Maybe term limits would be a good place to start. Here's how the process works. Citizens request their state legislators to pass a bill called an application with operative language identical in each state. These legislators of the states then pass the application. Generally, only a simple majority is needed. Congress shall, by law, call a convention of the states as soon as it receives applications from two-thirds of the state legislatures. That's 34 states. Delegates chosen by the state legislatures attend the convention. Each state only gets one vote at the convention, but they can send as many delegates to represent the state as they so choose. Amendments are proposed, debated, and voted upon at the convention. Finally, ratification takes place in the states. Each amendment must be ratified by three-fourths of the states in order to become part of the U.S. Constitution. But what about a runaway convention? Come, come. Let's get a reality check. Like constitutional law scholar Robert G. Nadelson says, there are far more political and legal constraints on a runaway convention than on a runaway Congress. The convention delegates, also called commissioners, are bound to the will of their state legislatures. If they don't vote as their states demand, they get recalled. They might even get sent to prison. Furthermore, a full three quarters of the state legislatures, we're talking 38 state legislatures, must ratify each and every amendment in order for it to become part of the U.S. Constitution. Even Alexander Hamilton and Abraham Lincoln, who favored national government, emphasized that Article 5 gives states authority over the national government. Hamilton writes that national rulers have no option upon the subject. The words of Article 5 are peremptory. The Congress shall call a convention. And Lincoln says the convention mode seems preferable in that it allows amendments to originate with the people themselves. Article 5 Convention of the States is a safe route to stopping federal overreach. Civilizations rise and fall. Let's be a civilization that saw the cycle of collapse coming and broke it.